Hello there, this is Tom. This crap is useless. You can mine it in the nether, it's tons of it. You can use it to make tiny pile of pirate dust, which can't really be used for anything else except making pirate dust. And you can put it in an industrial electrolyzer and get two sulfid dust and one iron dust which could be great but that's kinda lame and this this shit is just a war with um, which I accidentally used silk touch on uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to place it in here and be done with that. Uh, so today I'm going to work with the cow farm. Um, I have the stuff ready. I I think I only need a lot of iron and that's basically it. It looks like this is done. Oh! Oh! So, pirate, pyrite, pyrite ore can be used to make iron? Well, I really wish I had a bunch of it. Uh, that would be great. Let's see, I'm just going to destroy this barrel and... Whoa! 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 How much is that? Whoops. No. Get out of there. How much is this? Three hundred and forty eight. Okay, I'm a bad actor. Um I just realized this a couple minutes ago and I went to ne the nether and I did some harvesting for I don't know um, a few minutes or so not a long time at all uh, I think at the top just five minutes and I got enough to make let's see I'm I did some before so I made 400 iron in 10 minutes that's to me that's a great deal that's a really great deal I don't know about you guys but that's a great deal especially since that block is really common in the nether however you need to use silk touch on it so <clears throat> At the moment, I think I'm the only one which has the silk touch. So you might remember this from the last episode, the the master control which we did last episode. Um, I did some changes to it off camera while I was rendering, and uh, I think I showed that in the video that I made. I I think I showed that you could press that, but not you, that you could press it back. Uh, but that's what I did. I also connected it to this. So power is now off. Power is now on. Which is awesome. So this is basically ready to be set up. The only problem is um, that uh, I'm going to rewrite write the program. I know a more efficient way to do this. So that's basically just a test version of it, uh, but I used uh, the stuff I learned from that experiment and I uh, used it here. Um, let's see, I'm just going to bring up a calculator because uh, I'm not going to use the code there. Let's see, 400, 4096. Okay. So we want to terminate that and edit test and change the password to 496 just for now. So I made a code panel, a small code panel for the cow farm 
because as I said, a tier five. I'm just going to leave this. Just going to bother me. Um, a tier five um, uh, skeleton uh, or a tier five um, uh, solo shard could be dangerous in the wrong hands. Like we can have someone that uh, will crash the server and stuff. So it's going to be a password protected door. Um, this is just a basic setup right now. Uh, so if I type like uh, one, 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 nothing is going to happen. Uh, it will print out the code here. That's something I need to change as well. Five, 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 five. I can type whatever I want. Like I can do five. You can probably I can't see it because of the sunlight, but I can see it. You can probably see the star right there. So it will add every time I press a button. But uh, if I press eight, 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 there we go. Sweet, right? And then we just leave a pressure plate here, so we can basically just go out by stepping on that. So I need to do some changes to it and stuff. Um, this will detect every touch. So now it detect um, the event monitor test. Um, I don't remember. What, yeah, the X coordinate where I was pressing, the Y coordinates where I was pressing, and um, the code. The code is basically what it was checked for at the end, uh, which is always one. It it is on by one by default. Um, so what you do is, if you press one, you multiply uh, apply the code with one. If I press two, I multiply it with two. So you see now it's two. And if we do eight, we will have sixteen. And if we do eight again, we have one hundred and twenty-eight. So that together will be should be at this point, or when as it as it is right now, it's going to be four thousand and ninety-six to get the code. I had some problems because I couldn't uh, time, to, time oh, multiply it by zero because that would make it zero. So I did it to add zero to it but that would just end up like ADHD had a code with zero in which meant I could do if the code was nine five zero eight I can basically do nine five eight zero. I, I could just do nine five eight and zero could be anywhere, so I changed this so zero actually divides divides everything by two. So if I add eight, now the code will be eight. If I add zero, I will get four. If I do zero again, I will get two, and if I do zero again, I will get one. And this will also not work with if I, for instance, just add so code is zero or one uh, you can just press here and you will not type anything and the code will be zero one at the end it will not work because it will check if the uh, cursor is there if it's not there the code is not registered so oops that's basically what I've been um, having fun with off camera while I was rendering I'm not going to try that again let's see there the one is great for uh, mining and stuff, but when it comes to picking stuff and stuff up, that's not good at all. So I'll get some supplies and I'll be right back. So this is kind of where I want uh, the <clears throat> the door to be. Uh, so I gotta do something fancy here. Because I don't really want everyone to get access to it, and I really want to have that really like accessible. And uh, this is not going to be just like that. I made a stack of warded glass, warded block. I mean, orange warded block, because <coughs> because I think that will match kind of the looks of that, and probably a lot of the other stuff that ADHD has planned here. Because he sent me some pictures, he did some stuff in creative, creative, bleh. and um, yeah. So that's um, that's 
kind of the basic plan sir to secure every everything however you could break the door well that will consider griefing so have you been in there you probably are out of the server uh, let's see then I need a computer somewhere not accessible for everyone because it would be bad if you could just get in here afterwards and just terminate the program or anything like that but uh, let's see I should have my wand with me based uh, in case and I should spare that and just use this or I could make another pickaxe let's see this place is getting so messy at the moment let's see I know ADHD left a mining drill here somewhere let's just use that for now it is in a chest with the portal gun there's a mining laser the mining laser? huh that's Cyclos <laughs> he forgot if he forgot it here um, I don't remember when uh, he helped out uh, ADHD with terraforming something there so they used the mining laser and uh, ADHD died I think Cyclo took his lap pack but um, we never got the lap pack back and he never got the mining laser back so yeah uh, let's just do pick axe and just find it I saw it here Oh, uh, I was looking for mining lids. No, the mining drill. Let's see there. And it's fully charged. That's great. Uh, and I need my wand to get the warded glass, warded blocks back. And my wand is, of course, here. So I'm probably going to do something like I did hair loop use like the um, the weird block things Let's see this is probably too close let's just do this just move it a little bit more away from the wall from this wall that is let's see and the door there the monitor there there and then we need a computer to actually be close to that door however we could do I don't really need that at the moment. We could do it like. No, what about. You see, this is not what I did plan out at all. How would that look? To kind of have a. Panel that. Let's find out. Uh. Let's pop in here. There's a torch. Do that. And of course, start it. Attempt to call Neolia. Edit. Test. Peripheral. And do. Uh, left. And reboot. So, no monitor on the right side. Edit test. Yes, there we go. I didn't change this up for 
this yet. See left, and that should do it. Yes. Uh, I changed the code back, so I'll edit it to back to the 4096, which is 888. Just do that now. 8.8. Of course, I have to reboot the computer. 8.8.8. I'll be right back. So I found out the problem there. Uh, I can't really see anything here. Uh, there. I need a pressure plate so we can get back out. And I could just make a stone one. Uh, Just do that. And then basically the cow farm will be just uh, there. Like there. Cows will drop down here. And uh, I haven't really planned it out. ADHD wanted something that could uh, could um, easily, like um, I don't know, uh, so it will auto automatically cook and stuff. And I agree about that, but at the same time, it's it's. Uh, I don't know, I think actually raw beef can be used for something. Raw beef use. Except making that, you can make met metan cells. But I think you might can do that with steak as well, yes. So I figured out that I want to uh, drop them down. I have a setup of it in my die zombie, in my test world, and uh, it's working. The only thing I forgot was that I don't want other other people to get access to it. Um, which is a problem because I can drop them from here and there will be one hit kill down there but everyone can just fly up here and just get in so I might need to make more warded glass or think out something else so I'm working on decorating the stuff here I'm not going to show it off yet because I'm still working on it and I don't want to use all the time for today on showing the decoration I want stuff to be up now and I came down here to pick up some cobblestone and then I found this in the quarry chest we have iron problems and we have close to two and a half stack of um, iron just laying it down, laying around down here. So let's put this to. Uh, uh, fuck. To work. Like so. And I'll be back later on again. Whoa, frame rate drop. <clears throat> don't know why. So it's been, I don't know, two, three hours. I've been away as well. 
I have to pick up my grandparents and drive them back home because they've been in Spain. So I've been working a little bit uh, with this in between that and in between making f dinner and stuff. So eight, 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 eight. And there we go. Uh, so I decided to take it underground instead because then we didn't have the platforms in the air. I thought ADHD was coming. He's online right now. Uh, but when I came down here I met a ravine so I made or I used some of this warded glass so you can basically look through it which is awesome and you can still not break a warded glass with with picks or anything either and I use this pattern because you can basically break this and you can get in by using ender pearls but if you are if you really want to get in it's not really a big deal this is just to keep someone for letting the spawner stay on so it's kind of a safety thing so you need a password and stuff. This is awesome. Just when you choose it like that you get just that. What is... What's that over there by the way? Huh. Probably nothing important. So it's going to be a, a piece there. I do not have my wand with me so I'm not going to try to break it. Or place it. So... It's going to be one there, and uh, this is where the cows will fall down, and uh, we'll bring it up here. This has the same pattern, whoops, I need to change that up, out, uh, this has the same pattern, uh, besides this weird thing, uh, I think I messed up here somewhere, I'm not completely sure where. Um, or if it's just because it's an even number and it didn't go up or something. I don't know. Uh, this is where it's really awesome to do it. You can see through. So this is where the spawner is going to be and the water is going to be here. I made it too high here so cows don't jump back up because they can because they're wider and yeah now it's only the testing left and hopefully I don't have to kill anyone because they are going to fall to their death okay so after a while with uh, let's see messing around trying to figure out where stuff is making a new one because I accidentally left my somewhere <laughs> I don't know where I finally ended up with um, the stuff I needed to make this happen. Uh, let's see here. I need the. Is it. Is, is it this? The 110? Oh, fuck. Um, huh? Just need to find out if it's the right computer. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Booting, it's on. Uh, list. Uh, list. Edit skeleton. Send message if sender message on, then redstone output back falls. Uh huh. So it is the right computer, which is that one. And it's going there and uh, there. Which means that this should have. 
let's see, edit star up to prevent them to spawn. Yes, back true. Some shit in My food was ambitious. I don't know what he's talking about. To be honest. Uh, let's see. And then that one reboot. No, wait a second. I saw a, something there that we don't really want. We don't want it to sleep before it sends out this pulse that will make them spawn. Now reboot. If you're wondering how I reboot, I just hold Control and R, and now it should be running. And we can test this by finding the other computer here. Just place it down, start it connecting to Skeleton Grinder, which it is it's not the skeleton grinder anymore. Press 1 to turn it on. There we go. Oh fuck. So I have to rewrite it because you have to wait. <laughs> there we go. So it has... It's It will run for a while. I have to rewrite the program for it. So it's portable with uh, this. Oops. Um, so yeah. Uh, now we just add in the water here. If you guys will move. There. And there. And there. And there. And now they should uh, die. And he left. Not sure if he... Oh, good, he's back. Uh, let's see. Let's get out. Let's see if they survive this. They should not. And block it off. Oh, I didn't think about that. They can just break that and get up. Oh, well. It's for looks. Let's see. Add the computer. Temporarily just now. As I said, I have to change it because this has the skeleton stuff still there. So I have to get back up there and rewrite the programs and stuff. Connecting to skeleton grinder. Oh yeah, that's right. It's not resettable. That's the problem. So I have to get up here. And reboot that computer. Because that is waiting for a signal. And if it's not the signal that this will give out from the beginning, it will not work. So that's the problem I made to this program, which I have to change. Hopefully, they will all die. Uh, and it's already great there. Ah, yeah, this is perfect. Ah, yeah. You remember the meat shower cow? Oh, yeah, fuck. Thanks for watching, guys. This is all I had for today. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.
拜拜。